Hi, this is Edith, Instructional Innovation Trainer at Klamath Community College, and in this video I'm going to go over the OneDrive program. This is different than the other one where I did an overview. This is actually how you use the program. So if you were to open up your OneDrive, which I already have open, so you're going to sign into your Office 365, which is right here, and then um, just go ahead and click on your OneDrive. Now the nice thing about connecting your one your PC to the OneDrive is, is that your files are accessible anywhere that you have an internet connection or if it's a device that you have linked up um, and you don't have an internet connection you can actually make edits on those documents and then when you connect back to the internet those changes that you made while you were offline will actually be synced to uh, the OneDrive and then those documents that are available online will also be updated as well with the same information. So what you can do in the OneDrive is you can search for folder files. So I know that I have files that are in Word. So say I want to do, you know, find what I'm looking for in Word. I actually can go ahead and do a search and it will show me uh, the names of the files that have that information in there. I can also add new files and folders. So if I click on this right here, I can actually add a new folder, which I'll go ahead and do. And what I want to do also is have my uh, Windows Explorer open just so that so you can see what happens on this side of the program. So I'm going to go ahead and do test. You see my OneDrive Klamath Community College folder here. So this is everything that's here is also over here. So I'm going to go ahead and create and just keep an eye on here. You'll see that the test folder will actually be created over here. It takes a few seconds for it to show up and there it is. Very quick, very easy. So as long as I have that internet connection, it's going to go ahead and do what happens here is going to be duplicated here and vice versa. So I can work on either side. So the other thing I can do is create um, a Word document within the browser. So you'll see it go ahead and come in here and I'm going to say this is a test. And so Again, it's nothing's going to show up here because I haven't saved it yet. So the way you're going to save it is go File, Save As, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Save As here. And then I'm going to save to another folder because I don't want it in my Documents folder. I actually want it in a different folder. This is just like if you're working offline on your desktop. It's the same difference. The only difference that's going to happen here is, is it's going to bring you to the web version of OneDrive versus your your desktop version. So I'm going to go ahead and click in here and open that up and I'm going to click save. And again, you're going to watch this test right here and it will show me that it's going to be syncing here shortly. And there it is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and head back here to my OneDrive and I'm going to show you what happens when I open a document on my desktop and I've created a document that I want to be accessible by my OneDrive. So um, Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a save as and I'm going to go into my OneDrive and my test and I'm going to go ahead and leave that as the document name so you can see it just pop up there. So I'm going to click save. Okay, so you see it here. You can see the little arrows that are showing that it's syncing. Now if I go back into my test, there it is. So I actually get it on both sides. It works on both sides. So this is because my computer is linked. Now you can link any computer, any device to the OneDrive. You don't have to if you want to work on the document online because it will automatically sync up to wherever you do have your OneDrive connected to a PC. And a very convenient tool. You can have it on an iPad, a tablet, a Windows phone, and uh an Android phone, an iPhone. There are apps available. You can go to Google Play for the Android devices, Windows Store for the Windows devices, and the iTunes Store for the iTunes uh, for the iPhone and iPad devices. The other thing that you can do um, if you just want, like I said, to edit online, I can go in here. I can make a change. So it's going to be this here. 
And so you can see I can't edit right now because it's in read mode. So what you would do is come over here to edit. Now with this, I have the option of editing in Word so I get the full functionality of uh, Word. However, um, maybe I just want to edit in the browser because I'm traveling so I can click on that. And now I'm back into the document and I can say uh, And so I've made this change and then so I open the file to edit and so I'm going to put more information in here. Now you can see that um, it is saving here. I do want to point this out to you because um, if you try to do a save as it's going to get kind of wonky for you uh, where I can go in here and I can say save as and I'm going to save a copy online. Now we know that this document has saved already so I'm going to go ahead and go back in here and I just want to show you it's kind of a weird uh, thing. It's showing this is not saved so um, just be aware of that it actually is. So let's go ahead and go back to this here. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So remember it's called document. So I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to go ahead and click on it and we'll see I didn't hit save as, save or anything like that. It automatically saved it for me. So you, any changes you make online will be saved into the document and you don't have to do a save as. Now I did have somebody ask me about PDFs. Um, when you are editing a PDF, you are going to have to download the PDF. Now if your computer is linked to OneDrive and you're offline, you can still download that PDF to work on. Uh, just know that when you make the changes, and this is true of any document, if you make any changes while you're offline, when you get connected back to the internet, it will update and it will sync those files and update them to the newer version. So that is what, how you can actually edit and open and close files on on. OneDrive. And the same is true here. The only difference when you're going to go in here, so we have this document here, so I'm going to go ahead and put some more information in here. Um, and um, in this instance, you do have to save. Okay, um, you know, you can do it up here, you can do a file save here. I can actually save it as a different file. And it doesn't matter which, you know, it's not like with uh, the other one, it still shows up here. So I'm going to put this as a, as a two here so we can just see the differences here. And so um, this will show up on my, my uh, OneDrive. Let me go ahead and refresh. And you'll see it pop up here and there's the newer one. So you can see how it syncs automatically, it's quick, it's easy, you don't have to think about it, but you do have to save your documents normally on the desktop version of Office. So if you have any other questions, comments, and concerns, please feel free to contact me. My email is warden at Klamath cc.edu. My extension is 340. I am on Skype from 7 to 4, Monday through Friday. I would be glad to IM with you or video chat with you or even share desktop so I can help walk you through this. Thank you and have a great day.